Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to my podcast. Today, we're going to take a look back at when I was in the 8th grade at Rosebud Lot Junior Senior High School in Rosebud, Texas, located 25 miles south of Waco. It's a, it's a, it's a consolidated school. Anyway, st- we'll start with uh, student life, then go on to classes, personalities, sports, Anyway, the uh, theme of the uh, yearbook for 1984 was uh, Fast Times at Rosebud Lot High School. The next page says One Day at a Time and has uh, several pictures from uh, football and various activities, uh, pep rallies, good times shared, more pictures, more pictures, more pictures. Pictures from uh, basketball. A lasting impression. Now on to student life. Oh, the, uh, talking about the lasting impression. The addition of Cougar Tales for 1984 was an attempt to establish the uh, sometimes precious, a lot of times not so precious memories of school. Anyway, Student life. Homecoming was on October 7th, 1983. The uh, Rosebud Lot Cougars beat the uh, Caldwell Hornets 7 to nothing in a close game. I went to that game, by the way. More on the rest of the season in a little bit. The uh, bonfire was held the night before, and at halftime, Miss Angie Robroker was crowned queen, and then they had to dance afterwards. Some pictures here of the uh, Players were on the field to celebrate the win, the uh, cheerleaders, the bonfire, the uh, mums, the uh, post-game reflection, and the uh, coronation of the queen. Ag went to the youth fair in Marlin on September 23rd and September 24th, and Gary Randley's Hereford Heifer won grand champion. At the awards ceremony, students from grades 9 through 12 were recognized in a ceremony held on May 16th, 1984. For a honor roll, perfect attendance, scholarships, and various other honors and awards. I went to the Halloween Carnival on my birthday, October 29th, 1983. Some pictures here of the uh, head coach in the uh, Duncan booth, a couple of students uh, with some balloons, and students wearing costumes. The uh, Powder Puff football game, played by the uh, junior and sophomore girls against the uh, senior and freshman girls was played on May 8, 1984. The uh, senior freshman beat the sophomore juniors by a score of 12 to 6. I also took place in a science fair. I have no idea what my project was. I didn't get ribbon saw it or really, really care. It doesn't really matter. That was on March 6, 1984 and stu- students in grades 7 through 12 took part. See a couple of the projects. On uh, April 3rd, there was a talent show. And this was open to uh, all grade levels, from kindergarten up to senior. The, uh, and it benefited the uh, Vicky Blakeney Scholarship Fund. The winners for uh, grade school, kindergarten through third grade, were Doris Cisneros got first place, Brian Zipperlund got second place, Lacey Chapman got third place, Keon Jerry Whitfield got Tammy Pelzel, and Dana Pate got fourth. For fourth grade through sixth grade, Jennifer Tindall and Gina Lorenz tied for first, Kelly Roberts and Hilda Fulton tied for second, and Amanda Sampson tied for third. In junior high, Jennifer Tarver, Tessa Taylor, Lisa Haverstick and Michelle Cortez, who by the way were classmates of mine in the 8th grade. They all tied for first. Kent Harmon and uh, Tanya Doskasil tied for second, while Rhonda Evans tied for third. Rhonda was also a uh, classmate of mine. Kent Harmon was a 7th grader. In high school, Stephen Cooper got first place, Steve Harmon, Tim Lightfoot, Chris Teppe, Kenny Como, Janet Waltman, Steve Cooper, James Corbett and Terry Brody got second, while Norma DeLeon got third. 
The senior boys play the uh, coaches and the other men teachers in a charity basketball game to raise money for their trip. And speaking of their trip, they went to Six Flags. Oh, by the way, the boys won, by the way. Anyway, they went to Six Flags on April 27th in a slightly, slightly overcrowded bus. But it says here that an enjoyable trip. And pictures of them on the bus waiting to go. Some uh, souvenirs on some of the rides. Then on the bus coming home. The uh, sports banquet was held on uh, April 28th, 1984. A meal was given by the uh, ladies of Westphalia. The uh, vocational office education students had their banquet on uh, February 28th, 1984 at St. Anne's Center. And they provided the entertainment. Each employer was given a uh, certificate of appreciation for their patience and care during the year. The uh, FFA or AG held their uh, banquet on uh, March 27th, 1984 at Westphalia Hall. The NHS had their trip. They went to Austin. They went to on May 11th. They went to Longhorn Cavern, they went to the LABJ Ranch in Johnson City, and they went to a concert at the, uh, May the uh, Irwin Center in Austin at UT. The uh, Student Council had its banquet on April 24, 1984 at Golden Dragon. The outgoing officers swore in the incoming officers for the next school year. Ban had its uh, banquet on uh, May 15, 1984, and the uh, seniors had two parties. One was at the uh, First Baptist Church on May 14th, and the other one was at the Methodist Church on uh, April 25th. The Methodist Church, they had a party at the uh, Baptist Church, they had a banquet. And the prom was held on uh, May 5th, 1984. The theme was, What's Forever For? That's from an old uh, Michael Martin Murphy sermon. And there's pictures. Uh, everybody having a good time? And uh, the drama club competed in the one I Play competition, and their play was the Zen Substitute um, at Caldwell High School on March 20th, 1984. It advanced the play advanced district and area, and they also participated in regional, and they were chosen as alternate to state. The cast members who placed at district were Kenny Manis, uh, best actor, Russell Kirksey and Devin Lorenz, all star cast, and Laura Costa and Shelley Engel got honorable mention. At area, Kenny Manis got best actor, and Russell, Her Russell Kirksey and Devin Lorenz got all star cast. At regional, Kenny Manis was awarded All-Star Cast, and Russell Kirksey and Devin Lorenz received honorable mention. Now on to classes, one step at a time. And we'll take a look at the uh, class officers. For the seniors, the president was Andy Robroker, the vice president was Jesse Martinez, the secretary was Lisa Rigby, and the treasurer was Angel Patillo. On to the juniors now which will be the uh, next class for 1985. Anyway, Devin Lorenz was the president. Dale Holscher was the vice president. Buffy Doskasil, the uh, treasurer. And Tammy Green, the... Uh, I'm sorry, Buffy Doskasil was the secretary. Tammy Green was the treasurer. Now on to the sophomores, class of 86. Randy Pargas was the president. Richard Martinez was the vice president, Martha Cisneros was the secretary, and David Good was the treasurer. The uh, freshman, class of 87, Monroe Parkas was the president, Julie Beach the vice president, Becky Cooper the tr secretary, and Chris Tebby the treasurer. Personalities. Like I said earlier, uh, 
Angela Rawbroker was crowned homecoming queen. Her court, the uh, senior princess and runner-up to homecoming queen, was Lisa Rigby. The uh, junior princess was M Missy Mason. The uh, sophomore princess was Brenda Shoppy, and the freshman princess was Julie Beach. Sorry. The uh, Angela Rawbroker was also a FFA sweetheart. Lori Scott was band sweetheart. Emily Cook was football sweetheart. Jesse Martinez and Nancy Moeller were Mr. and Miss RLHS. Produced and most handsome were Stephen Cooper or Missy Har and Missy Mason. The friendliest young man was Stanley Bell, and the friendliest young lady was Devin Lorenz. The best all-around young lady was Elizabeth Bravo, and the best all-around young man was Lonnie Ford. The uh, most popular young lady was Angela Rawbroker, and the most popular young man was Fred Bailey. Russell Kirksey and Laura Kahostal were, vo were voted most likely to succeed, and the most athletic uh, were uh, Lonnie Ford and Devin Lorenz. Class favorites were uh, Roy Hoffman and Joy Fulton, the seniors. Rudy Salazar and Buffy Doskasil for juniors. Martha Cisneros and David Good sophomores. Monroe Pargas and Julie Beach freshmen. And Roger Hosher and Vicky Springfield eighth grade. And Danny Gonzalez and Jill Beach for a seventh grade. So, oh, and the valedictorian was Deborah Heinze, and the salutatorian was Russell Kirksey. Now to sports. The uh, football team, led by new head coach John Thornton, went went to one and nine that year. When I said the homecoming game was the only win that year, although there were a couple of close games that they very easily could have won, and could have ended up with a uh, record of three and seven instead of one and nine. They lost to uh, Rikers seven to six. Rogers fourteen to seven in a game I went to. 31 to 7 to Robinson, 26 to 7 to Waco High, the old Waco High, 27 to 3 to Fairfield. Of course, they beat Caldwell 7 to nothing. They lost to Rockdale 34 to 21. They lost to Cameron 33 to nothing. They lost to Marlin 26 to 14, and they lost to Hearn 31 to 9. The JV team finished with a record of 6 and 4 while the freshmen finished with a record of 2-8. and eight. The uh, volleyball team, which had made the playoffs the year before, had a kind of a down year as they uh, finished district with a record of 4-6 and six and a preseason record of 9-7. and seven. The uh, girls basketball team Finished with a record of six and eighteen. The uh, basketball team finished with a district re record of three and seven. The JV uh, boys team finished with a record of two and eight, while the freshmen finished with a record of eight and two. It looks like I'm running out of time here. And on the next episode, we'll take a look at uh, tennis, track, and baseball. So until next time, I'm Chris, and you've been listening to my podcast live. Have a good day.